Hello, friend. Jim here. Welcome to Science Talk. Very disturbing news that originally appeared in Nature World News. 10 billion crabs in Alaska slowly starve to death due to extreme marine heat waves, or MHWs. Billions of snow crabs have vanished from the waters near Alaska in recent years, and scientists believe that the warmer ocean temperatures likely starve them to death. You may recall I did a, a, an earlier video some time ago discussing the situation. Well, it's gotten worse. <clears throat> Finding comes just days after the uh, ADFG, Alaska Department of Fish and Game, suspended the snow crab harvest season for the second year in a row. No harvesting at all. No fishing them. They cited an excessive quantity of crabs missing from the Bering Sea's usually cold, certainly hazardous waters. Right? Let's just watch some of those uh, shows there, you know, of fishing boats, boats in the in the Bering Sea. So maritime heat waves. A study released by uh, NOAA uh, Administration of Science has discovered a substantial correlation between recent maritime heat waves in eastern Bering Sea and the unexpected disappearance of snow crabs. Scientists first noted a significant decrease in the quantity of snow crabs during a survey in 2021 which found the fewest snow crabs on the eastern Bering Shelf since the surveys began in 1975. Cody a lead author of the study and fishery biologist at NOAA, said they examined north of the Bering Sea, west towards the Russian water, and even deeper into the oceans, and ultimately concluded that the crabs did not move and that the mortality event was most likely a major driver. In other words, a lot of them died. So it wasn't so much, oh, the water, the water got warmer, let's, let's move to find cooler, more comfortable waters. No, they, they simply died. Now, why is that? Could the warmer water temperatures have increased the metabolic rates where they could not ingest enough uh, calories to maintain themselves? That's possible. Warmer temperatures and higher population density were shown to be strongly associated with higher mortality rates among mature crabs. The cause of the mortality event is hungry crabs. Well, that sounds like the warmer waters is causing a problem, a reduction in primary productivity. Could it be stratifications not getting nutrients into the photic zone for the phytos? That needs to be ascertained. Snow crabs are cold water animals that live mostly in places with water temperatures below 2 degrees Celsius. They could function in seas as warm as 12 C, but they don't like those waters. And by the way, that's a snow crab. Cute little thing. Warmer ocean water is believed to have disrupted the crab's metabolism, which I alluded to a few moments ago and raised their calorie requirements. That's it, I alluded to that just a few moments ago. Researchers discovered that the amount of energy crabs need from food in 2018, first year of a two-year maritime heat wave in the region, may have doubled compared to the previous year. However, because the heat disrupted much of the Bering Sea's food web, snow crabs had a difficult time hunting for food 
and couldn't keep up with the caloric demand, especially the increased caloric demands due to increasing water temperatures. Researchers said that the implications of fast rising ocean temperatures and more frequent heat waves in reaction to climate change are difficult to forecast, but the snow crab die off is a prime example of how quickly the outlook can change for a population. What's occurring with Alaska's crabs is proof that the climate problem is intensifying, affecting livelihoods. This was kind of an unexpected, punctuated change in their population, but I think long term, the expect expectation is that the snow crab population will move north as the ice recedes and in the eastern Bering Sea. You probably won't see much of them anymore. The consequences of maritime heat waves are likely to be felt by, by organisms other than snow crabs. So, this is really very disturbing news. Very disturbing. But it kind of brings in together many themes and topics I have discussed with you in prior videos. You know, a warming oceans is forcing organisms to move poleward and or deeper. Then they have to find their food. Okay. We're seeing what? We're seeing marine heat waves that could be increasing stratification, decreasing mixing, in, which decreases primary productivity with the ripple effects all throughout the ecosystem. I'm seeing that happening here. So, and, and like I said earlier, you know, they could be basically burning out their metabolism and that they don't have enough energy to make gametes and they're certainly trying to burn off energy to stay in a comfortable temperature setting for them. And, but this brings up the overall problems of marine heat waves. As most of you know, I was the co-author on a paper recently published, and I was asked to write a literature review on <clears throat> the factors that bring about mass extinction events in the oceans. I found five to six major factors. One is increased uh, water temperatures. It stratifies the ocean. It increases organisms' metabolism that they, as we just discussed here, as an example with the snow crab, they can't get enough calories, which means they certainly can't get enough energy to, make, uh, to put into gamete production. Numbers start falling off. You know, an, another factor was the increased stratification, limiting the mixing, limiting productivity, primary productivity, right? increasing acidification, right? decreasing oxygen, and, and along with the increasing acidification is the increasing CO2 levels. Right? So these are, those are some of the factors I identified. And uh, we're now starting to see more and more of that sort of situation hitting a lot more regions of the world's oceans. This is not going to be an isolated situation. You know, a couple in overfishing, we're going to, the oceans are going to be pretty soon depleted of uh, organisms, or organisms will be down to a bare fraction of what the numbers used to be. So this is very troubling. And, uh, you know, snow crab is important for the ecosystem. It's not just a quote unquote commercially important species, but they are an important species for the ecosystem. And if they falter, well, there's going to be other ramifications as well. So marine heat waves are doing in crabs. Things are too hot for them. Ramping up the metabolism. They can't get enough calories. They can't set aside calories to produce gametes. They're dying off. You wonder how many other locations worldwide 
with other species where we see similar situations. Very troubling indeed. Thank you for your time.